if root over x minus a by x minus b plus a by x equals root over x minus b by x minus a plus b by x and b is not equal to a then what is the value of x right we have to you know evaluate the value of x so it says uh, you know if i if i take it as root over x minus a by x minus b plus a by x equals to root over x minus b by x minus a plus b by x remember when you go for substitution if at all you go for substitution you should not be taking uh, b equals to a right that's given in the question very clearly right you cannot take uh, b equals to a right b cannot be taken as equal to a yeah so what do we do uh, I can see the responses from some of you, right? You say that option 1 and option 4 do not have that symmetry, right? The, the question has got a lot of symmetry in it, right? X minus A by X minus B. On the other side, we have X minus B by X minus A. And then A by X and, you know, B by X. Now, going by that symmetry in the question, options are not really symmetrical when it comes to option 1 and option 4, right? Yes or no? Because option 1 says b by a plus b. So only b in the numerator, right? Denominator has got a plus b, which is fine. But numerator has got only b, which will be out of symmetry. Similarly, uh, option 4 has got only a in the numerator. Denominator has got a plus b. So if you try to eliminate that way, 1 and 4 are eliminated. It should either be 2 or 1. But then, should we really go for substitution? No. Let's, let's, let's simplify. Let's see what happens if we simplify. So this will lead us to x minus a by x minus b minus of x minus b by x minus a equals to b by x minus a by x right just go for uh, regular simplification right now uh, yeah to, to make it uh, simpler what we would do is in the first term here see you know the right hand side is very easy b minus a by x but left hand side is complex i mean the lcm comes out to be you know root over x minus b into x minus a and then cross multiplication all that would be confusing instead uh, maybe we do one thing in this in this uh, first term here let's multiply both numerator and denominator by x minus a you're getting it so it's like this root over i mean i'm writing the whole step again you can directly do the multiplication when you're trying it yourself right what we will do is we will expand it further. We will take x minus a by x minus a. So we are not changing the value as such. We are multiplying both numerator and denominator by x minus a. Minus, look at the other term. x minus b by x minus a. Let's multiply both numerator and denominator by x minus b this time. x minus b. Equals to the left hand side, right hand side is b minus a by x. b minus a by x. So what do we get? Now here the numerator is x minus a the whole squared divided by x minus a into x minus b root over of course and here i mean i'm writing every step out of habit but in the exam you should avoid this this is just so that you can follow what is being done this is b minus a by x so what happens if you see in the numerators the square root and square gets cancelled in both the cases and the denominator now is what root over x minus a into x minus b right so if, if you take the denominator as LCM, which is root over x minus a into x minus b, what will happen in the numerator? We'll have, see this, this square root and this gets cancelled. Here this square and square root gets cancelled. Of course, that square root is applicable in the denominator, which you've already considered, right? We will have x minus a minus of x plus b, which is equal to b minus a by x. So x and minus x get cancelled. Again, if you observe, what we have in the numerator on the right, left hand side is b minus a, b minus a, right? Let me let me write it here. So this will be like b minus a by root over x minus a into x minus b. Yeah, sorry. And this is equal to on the right hand side we have b minus a by x. So b minus a and b minus a gets cancelled. Finally, we have x equals to this root over x minus a into x minus b. Now square on both the sides and you simplify. Right? So 
x squared equals to squaring on both the sides so x squared equals to x minus a into x minus b that will give you what x into x x squared minus of x times of a plus b plus a b so x squared and x squared gets cancelled finally we will have x into a plus b equals to a b so x into a plus b equals to a b which means x will be a b by a plus b and also remember that this is a standard question type it cannot be changed if it comes it comes in the same format right maybe instead of x they may use y instead of a and b they may use some other uh, variable there but answer will be a b by a plus b and again like i said if you try and go by symmetry you would know that one and four are eliminated because those are not symmetrical options i mean we lose the symmetry in the question if, if you substitute one and four so it should be between two and three so even if you have to make a blind guess you should you should either choose two or three right you can also try with substitution of random values in place of a and b like a equals to one and b equals to two and then do all that stuff because we would have taken a equals to one and b equals to one that would have been the easiest thing to do but he has very clearly specified that b cannot be equal to a so if you choose some numerals in place of a and b then this would look a lot simpler right whatever you have done here looks a lot simpler because these are all variables now it looks complex but with numbers it looks simple right anyway the answer is option 2 a b by a plus b